A warm embrace at the White House before the hard talk. President Joe Biden and King Abdullah of Jordan spent at least an hour discussing how to end the war in Gaza. The leaders disagreed on the best way to do that. We need a lasting ceasefire now. The United States is working on a hostage deal between Israel and Hamas, <clears throat> which would bring an immediate and sustained period of calm to Gaza for at least six weeks. Biden and Abdullah met just hours after Israeli forces launched a raid in Rafah to rescue two captives. Gaza officials say dozens of people were killed in the attack. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he wants to launch a full-scale military campaign against Hamas and Rafa. Even though there's growing international agreement, such an invasion would be catastrophic for the more than a million Palestinians trapped there. The major military operation in Rafa should not proceed without a credible plan, a credible plan for ensuring the safety and support of more than one million people sheltering there. Many people there have been displaced displaced multiple times, fleeing the violence to the north, and now they're packed into Rafah, exposed and vulnerable. They need to be protected. Biden did not talk about funding for UNRWA, which he suspended after Israel accused a few of its employees of helping Hamas plan the October 7th attack. Abdullah called on Biden to change his mind. Restrictions on vital relief aid and medical items are leading to inhumane conditions. No other UN agency can do what UNRWA is doing in helping the people of Gaza through this humanitarian catastrophe. It is imperative that UNRWA continues to receive the support it needs to carry out its mandate. Biden and Abdullah agreed to work on getting more humanitarian aid into Gaza, but they ignored reporters' questions on how to make that happen. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.